So in this video I'm going to show you how we can model curves and bends and all that stuff in Fusion 360 and it's really straightforward but it's one of those things that can seem difficult at first but when you know what tools are available to you it becomes really easy so I'm going to show you how to do that. The first example I'm going to do is a simple one we're going to create like a basic sort of ring shape and to do that we're going to first create a sketch and as always I like to go for a top down view and as I said we're going to go for a center diameter circle and use our center point as a reference and we're going to make this 100 millimeters. Now if you're kind of new to 3D modeling you'll be used to sort of sketching and extruding and going through this workflow so next you probably probably be expecting to do something like this yeah where you're extruding an object from a sketch but to do what we're trying to do you have to change your workflow a little bit so what we've just done is to find a sketch but we're not going to use a sketch to extrude we're going to use a sketch as a path so now what we need to do is construct a plane that will let us extrude along this path so if we go up to construct come down to plane along path and now you can see on this menu on the right it's asking us for a path so if we click the path on the edge of this circle you can see that now we've we're presented with a plane that we can drag all the way around this path and we're going to leave the distance at zero for this and hit ok so now what we're going to do is create a new sketch so we go up to sketch and we're going to select that new plane that we just created and as you can see it's taking us to that front view so we're going to create a basic sort of ring shape so we're going to go up to center diameter circle again and we know the center of this plane is the center point so we're going to click that and make this say 25 millimeters and hit enter and now we're back to what what you're kind of used to right and if we angle this out a bit like this you can see where we're going so now you can do your standard sort of extrude like you're used to so if we hit e on the keyboard that'll take us to the extrude menu and we can click that sketch we've just created and now you can drag it manually along the path but there's a much easier way I'm going to show you how to do that so if we go up to create uh, finish the sketch first sorry then come up to create and come down to sweep and what sweep does is it'll do a full sweep of a path so if we select the uh, sketch that we want to sweep and we want to select that one again and now underneath profile on the menu you can see path so if we click that and then select the outer edge of the circle again you can see it's fully swept around that path and if we hit OK you can see now that we've created this sort of ring shape and that's basically it that's how you sketch along a path in Fusion 360 and you can see that something that looks fairly complicated to a beginner it's really straightforward and the next example I'm going to show you so if I'm going to go up to file new design it's going to be very similar but just to sort of get you practicing so we're going to create a new sketch again we're going to go to top down view but this time I'm going to go for a three point arc and we're just going to we're going to take sort of every 50 mil every five squares and create a bit of an arc like this just for this example and we're not worrying about dimensions for now um, this is just a, a tutorial so we're going to create a few of these and line them up so they look fairly even there we go that'll do for this example so again we've got a sketch we're going to hit finish sketch and remember we've got our path now so what we're going to do is come up to construct plane along path we're going to select the path which is that line and you can see once again we've got this path that will follow that line that we've created and here's a tip if you've got um, a path that has two endpoints like this one you always want to make sure that you start your new plane at the very starting point of the path and you can do this easily on the menu by either entering zero or one so if we enter zero it takes us to the other end of the path and we're going to hit OK. Now what we're going to do again is create a new sketch on that plane and we're going to create another 
center diameter circle and we're going to make this one 25 millimeters hit ok we're going to finish the sketch and remember we're going to be using sweep so we're going to go to create sweep we're going to select the circle that we want then we're going to select the path and you'll see that it extrudes along that entire path for you and just as an example we can create a sort of pipe so if we create a sketch again on that same surface as before and we create another center diameter circle like this and we'll make it 20 mil finish sketch make sure that your previous sketch is still showing so if you click the sketch drop down show sketch one and we're going to go to create sweep we're going to click that sketch again click path select that inner path and you can see that we've set the operation to cut hit ok and you can see that we've now created this hollow tube and we've essentially created a pipe there and you can see that that wasn't that difficult fusion 360 has so many tools available to you and you just gotta know where to look so i hope that was helpful and before i close out the video i just want to say I'm currently creating a Fusion 360 course and it's due to release in the next month or two. So if you're a beginner and you're really interested in learning in a constructive way, I'll leave a link to that in the description below where you can sign up for my newsletter where I release the course. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content and please leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below to my Patreon where you can support me financially and in return you get access to some exclusive content, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of the videos on screen and I hope you have an awesome day.